My name is Maria Isupova and I'm a software engineer in NATO Strategic Communication Center of Excellence. I'm working within technical and scientific development branch, supporting the branch with uh, software solutions regarding collection of the data, storing data and all the other software solutions you may imagine. Um, mostly within our branch we are working with uh, social media, what's happening there. Nowadays social media is a powerful conduit for hoaxes, rumors, false narratives, maybe some hostile narratives. The stream of information is so big that uh, no one can possibly grasp that. There are millions of people posting to social media every day and there are even more who are reacting for it somehow, engaging, commenting, liking, sharing and reposting. So uh, how can you manage this amount of information? This is where social media monitoring tools truly shine. Social media monitoring tools are usually used by marketing specialists, uh, communicators, business owners who want to understand what people are talking online about their business, about their brand, maybe their reactions to their new product, is this reaction mostly positive or negative, what competitors are doing there, and uh, maybe even what's happening in the, in the industry in general. Not only private businesses can um, benefit from this sort of information. Public sector can use these tools too. Government and military organizations can understand not only what people are talking about them and what their public image is, but also what uh, narratives are trending right now, what hashtags are spreading, what uh, people think about adversaries, and maybe you can gather even some insight about adver what adversaries are doing in uh, social media space. With social media monitoring tools, you can do all sorts of things. You can not only search for popular hashtags or something like that, you can try to uncover a network of people who are uh, talking about something. And uh, there are also uh, known cases when uh, some piece of disinformation like video or a picture were tracked down to a particular small group of people who started it first. So uh, it has a lot of potential applications, uh, for example, you can try to uncover networks of people who are talking about one particular thing. Or there are also known cases, for example, during uh, US elections, when uh, some particular piece of media like uh, video or uh, a picture was tracked down to a small group of people who first started talking about that. The problem is, there are hundreds of these tools on the market. How can you choose the right one? So, you should ask yourself a couple of questions. The first one, what are your use cases? What are you going to use this tool for? Maybe you need to just receive an alert where when uh, someone is mentioning something, when uh, some term or a phrase is mentioned, or maybe you want to uncover a network of people who are talking about something. Or maybe you want to search for something that happened some years in the past. So there are hundreds of use cases and you should understand what exactly you need this for. The second question is who is your audience that you want to monitor? Are these people from a particular country? Are these people of certain age? And so on. So there is also a lot of questions to ask. And the third one is uh, what are these platforms that you want to monitor? Are these uh, very popular platforms like Twitter and or Facebook? Or do you want to track something like uh, anonymous image boards or maybe even uh, dark web? Uh, there are tools that provide solutions for these too. So there are social media monitoring tools on the market which provides very narrow set of services and tools which could be used to monitor this data for a very modest price. And there are gigantic enterprises where you can gather insights in, into networks of people, into what they're talking about, what they're talking about four years ago. Uh, you can compare something uh, between different groups of people and so on and so on. You can also order custom reports and uh, custom dashboards, but of course it will uh, cost much more. But the price is not only consideration. There are many ways how to compare these tools with uh, one another. Some tools are easier to, to use than others. Some of them has very steep learning curve and uh, you need to consider that too. Uh, some of these tools could be used by a big number of people. So if you have multiple departments which want to use these tools, maybe you want to consider these. As you understand, it's not an easy task to select a social media monitoring tool which you want to use. 
But the most important thing to understand is that the access to this, this data as it is, is not a silver bullet. You also need analysts who will ask the right questions and also experts who will drive conclusions from this data.